It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and there's certain jobs mm -hmm. that are known to be scarier than others. Oh, yeah. You know, you've seen the TV show Ice Road Truckers. Oh, yeah. yeah. That'd be a <laughs> freaky, that's super freaky. Yeah. Or The Deadliest Catch. I was going to say oh, that. Oh, for next. sure. I love that That's show. just scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, my favorite, Lumberjacks Without Pants. <laughs> oh, man. Why have I not seen that show? It was a TLC yeah. special back uh -huh. in the 90s. Oh. Um, if you missed it, I'm sure you can get all 15 okay. seasons off eBay. 15? <laughs> or you can go over to my house and we can watch it together. Uh, a lot of wood those lumberjacks are dealing with. Scary wood. Yeah. <laughs> but one thing, one job you might not think of that could actually be pretty scary is a delivery driver. Scary? Ooh, I can see that. Like really? late at night. I'm always worried when Dogs. I have like a female yeah. that delivers things. I'm like, oh, be safe out there, girl. I'm excited when the female delivers Exactly. Things. That's why it's an issue. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is that you're picking up or dropping off. You never know who or what could be behind the door. Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. That's a great point. Or what you're delivering, for that matter. Oh, my gosh. And that brings us to a story that just came out in the news recently. Okay. Uh, it involves a 27-year-old food delivery driver in Connecticut his name is Trent. Okay. And he'd been delivering food for an app for a few months. Yeah. And really enjoyed the freedom that comes with the delivery job. Yeah, Alexis yeah. used to do uh -huh. this. So nice on your own time. You were never scary. scared though, going to like some sketchy oh, house. I usually it was brought like... someone with me. I oh, was you pretty did. Scared. Yeah. Okay. But I will say it's cool that you're your own boss. I've never done it, but I've always thought the second they fire me, because I'm sure they will someday. Yeah. I'm gonna be a delivery driver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, one evening Trent saw a notification for a hundred and fifty dollar delivery. Oh. Which is really big. Oh, that's, huge. that's huge. So he immediately hit accept, but he didn't realize that the rest restaurant was one he'd never been to or heard of before. Okay. There's a place called Danny's Restaurant located 30 minutes out of town, oh. way out in the sticks. Uh, Alexis, are you taking this order? What are you thinking? It's 150 bucks. That's dude. so much money. They're going to tip you nice. In one order. <sighs> okay. And so he followed the GPS out into the woods. Uh-huh. When he arrived at the destination, there was no restaurant. Is it like one of those, you know, like ghost restaurants where there's actually not a location, they're making it in a different kitchen or something? He wasn't sure. He didn't see anything, no lights, no people. Mm. It was just a densely wooded area. Okay. So he thought maybe Whoa. it was a mistake. And just as he was about to leave, an old guy walked out of the darkness what? carrying a plastic delivery bag. What? Shut up. And he handed it to Trent. What? And then walked back into the darkness what? of the woods. Now that is creepy. What? What's in the bag? Is it bones? Are bones in the bag? Oh my God. Well, at this point, Trent was pretty freaked out, but he backed out, like got onto the highway again, drove where the order was supposed to go. He didn't even peek and see? Like, what are these people ordering some, for right? some freaky guy in the woods? You're not supposed to look, bro. Oh, oh, my God. Bro. I would rip that thing open. Thank you. Oh, my God. Alexis would have been half done with their fries by this point. <laughs> well, as he was getting closer to the customer's house, Trent noticed the bag that he had in the car was kind of moving. No. Oh! God, Wait, dude. how is it only kind of moving? It's either moving or it isn't moving. <laughs> well, you know, rustling a little you bit. You hear it a little bit. Oh, no, no, Trent no. says he didn't know what to do, but he just sped up, got to the house as quickly as he could. What, what is he, some hero delivery guy? Well, no, I'm sure he just wants it out of his car as quickly as he can. God, yeah. I would have yeah. totally. thrown it out the window. No, but then you get <laughs> you, bad reviews. He wants the money. Okay. Yeah, I'm What's sure you get punished if you get rid of the food you're supposed to deliver. <laughs> yeah. Not if it's moving. <laughs> Well, when he arrived at the destination, he got even more scared because the address was to this really old-looking Victorian-style house. Stop it. Oh, my God. This is like a horror Scary movie. house or the worst. It looked really run down, too. Yeah. But he just wanted this to be over with. So yeah. he ran up onto the porch, dropped the moving bag right in front of the door, and then ran back to his car. What? Okay. Oh, my God. That's what I would have done. We don't even know if there's a still beating heart in this bag. Who like, cares? what is going on? Look, well, you drop it, mission complete, give me my 150 bucks, I'm out of here. And then, as Trent was pulling out of the driveway, he saw a hand reach out from the door no. and slide the bag into the house. Ah! Oh, my gosh. And afterwards, oh. Trent immediately told his supervisor what happened. Yeah. And they sent a police car out to the house to investigate. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, with the moving bags and all yeah. the all the stuff yeah, that's happened yeah. here, and the police came back said they didn't find anything. What do you mean? Like they didn't find a person? They didn't talk to anybody? They said nobody's lived at that house for years. No Shut up. way! And when they went in, it looked completely undisturbed inside. Oh, oh I have oh my god! I literally have goosebumps right now. 
problems too. This oh is crazy. Now, Trent, we- he swore he wasn't making it up. He ended up quitting his delivery job the next yeah. day. Yeah. I want to see receipts. Did he get paid? I don't know. You sign up for the app as a delivery driver and you can find out. No. Right? <laughs> but that story went viral. Mm-hmm. Now it's out there. People are talking about it. But it got us thinking, what other weird experiences have delivery drivers had when they're out on the job? Oh my god. I feel that's like a, good a lot more naked people, less ghosts. Yeah. But that's just my vibe. <laughs> I've never done that. So well, we actually have a lot of listeners who I'm guessing either currently work or previously worked as delivery drivers, so maybe they're the right people to ask. Okay, oh, yeah, I like this. Totally. So I'd say text in to seven eight five nine two right now. Tell us the craziest delivery oh. that you ever made. We're gonna hear some of the best stories nice. when we continue this coming up right after this. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.